Hey everybody, we're here for the next edition of Eat It Up. I'm at Fassler Hall. We're in the heart of downtown. We've got the transit station, even the Dust Bowl bowling alley right next door. It's a great place to come eat and hang out. I'm pretty sure Rob is here somewhere. I just need to try to find him. Rob! Ah, oh, there he is! He's all the way down there! Rob! Amanda, come on down. Let's go get him. Amanda, 85 foot long bar. This is, incredible. is a massive bar. This whole restaurant is really mm. huge. You've got a patio outside. It is awesome. And I hear they have some great German inspired food too. Let's go eat it up. So there's nothing like this in Arkansas really. It's a German beer garden, but it's really lively in a fun atmosphere. Um, we're family friendly. It's open, energetic. You've got the long community tables. Somebody who comes in here with their grandparents or you have people who come in here as a family and then you have your individuals coming for happy hour. It really is a diverse crowd. Um, big events, we will be standing room only. Come watch the hogs here. It's so much fun. <laughs> the music scene that we're trying to bring in is very diverse, but also we're trying to listen to what Little Rock wants. It's very important to us that we're going to be a part of this community. German beers, good, good stuff. He was able to go to Germany in the military, and so it's hard for him to find the beer that he likes, and here they have it. Yeah, there's like a really good selection. I like that there's more than like just five beers on tap. Yeah, it's really nice that they have a lot of local beers on draft. It's pretty good. We currently have nine German beers on tap. We have three rotating taps and four local taps. We're serious here in Little Rock about, you know, our food and beverage. Yeah. They actually have the sample where you can pick three different sausages. Uh, these are just the regular pork rinds and it comes with like this onion style dip. We knew it would be a fun place, but I have to say the food is just exceptional. This is the pork chunk and I can promise you, I was eating for at least 20 minutes. We try to take the things that you know we love about German cuisine. We also want to add our own flavor. We make our sausages uh, by hand every single day. We do our schnitzels, which is kind of a staple in German cuisine. Our bratwurst and hunter sausages are probably our two top sellers. Chicago style Frankfurter. <laughs> Known for all the different layers on there. You're getting your money's worth because they were just piling on the layers and that was awesome. Mm, oh, Mini brought I'm with not. house made mm. sauerkraut. Less talking, more eating. Have you ever had a schnitzel before? I don't even know what a schnitzel is. <laughs> mm. It's really good. I love the flavor good. of the mushroom gravy yeah. on it. The, the panko chips, so that's the crunch that's so important. I want you to hear the crunch, ready? <laughs> I can't even hear it. <laughs> He's in his own crunchy wonderland. He's Captain Crunch. Captain Call Crunch. me Captain Crunch. <laughs> get some more schnitzel. More schnitzel. Yeah. Get that. <laughs> Please. <laughs>